Today's video, I'm checking out a brand of wedges that I've never tried before, and they claim to be the king of spin. Today, we're testing out the Smithworks X-Spin 3.0. I'll tell you what, it is a pretty good looking club there. You've got some beautiful milling there down at the sole, an interesting kind of half moon heel relief there. Full face groove, as you can see here, and you've got these X grooves between the grooves. And because of that, this club is unfortunately not a USGA RNA conforming club. So if you are looking to use this in competition, it's a no go. But if you are out to play golf and have some fun, have some casual rounds, and you want to be the king of spin, this wedge claims to do that. Later in the episode, we will test the Elite Range from Smithworks, which is a conforming club. It just has a little different construction. So we're going to put it to the test out here at Carrollwood Country Club. I'm going to give myself some almost impossible shots and see if we can get balls to stop and spin around the greens. Let's get to work. I've got the 60 degree wedge here. We're going into the bunker and we're gonna give ourselves kind of a tough shot because there's gonna be very little green to work with here. So we need this thing to really float up there and land softly like it's on a pillow. I'm gonna open this club face way up, open my stance, and let's see if we can get this thing to stop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy crap. I don't think I've ever stopped a wedge that quickly from that type of lie with no green to work with. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't know if I can do that again, but I'm gonna try. Gotta accelerate the hands through. Look at that. Still a great result. I'm impressed with the spin so far here. I'm gonna take one more. Came out a little low, checked up just a tad there, but it was on the fringe, so we got a little bit more rollout. But boy, again, good results. I can make par from all three of those. And I've gotta see if I can carry it just a little further one more time, and I wanna see that spin when it hits the green. That's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy good. Very tough shot to pull off. We just pulled it off four times in a row there. And I think I'll be chasing the dragon of this first shot here for a very long time. That could have gone in. And that was our best one there. A little tap in. Now, one thing I'll say about these wedges is these grooves, these grooves get very dirty very quickly and you've got to have a tool like this a good wire brush in order to get all the grit out of not only the grooves, but all those little X's. All those little X's just hide dirt and debris. And if you're gonna get the most out of these things, you gotta keep them clean. All right, I'm gonna attempt a, another difficult shot here for a lot of people. I've got the 60 degree wedge, I'm 40 yards out. Very little green to work with again, kind of a downhill to that pin as well. You gotta get the weight perfect here. And we're gonna need the spin. Let's see if we can get it. That's a low little runner. Does it check? Oh, I don't think that's too bad. Kind of disappeared behind the hill for me. You can see it on camera, but I think that's gonna be pretty darn good. Came off pretty low there. I wanted it low, but I didn't want it that low. Let's see if we can get just a little bit more height, carry it to the green. Like that, should be perfect. What does it do? I should have picked a shot where I could actually see what happened. Oh, that looks good. That looks very good. I'll check the spin like, you'll see the spin before I do guys because it's a bit of a blind shot here. I think that's a really good one. Let's see if we can do even better. Is it enough? And landed a little short there. Looked like it had a little early check. You're not gonna get as much check there off the fringe. But in terms of being able to control these clubs, the trajectory, that's really nice. In distance I'm able to control pretty well, it seems like. A little deeper there. That one didn't check quite as much. I didn't quite pick that as cleanly. 
and I think it rolled to the back fringe. But on this shot, about a 15 yard shot, I'm gonna take out the 56 degree wedge. This has a beautiful black finish to it. Those X's are lasered in rather than cast in like the Extreme Series, and this Elite Series is conforming. You can use this in tournament play. Let's see how we do. Settle. Push that one off to the right a little bit. It kind of bounced on me. Stay down on it, let's see what happens. Oh, a little better result. I got aggressive on that swing. <laughs> I seem to be wanting to push him off to the right a little bit. Decent for distance. Let's fix that direction though. I'm gonna open my stance a tad. That's better. It's a little fixes sometimes, guys. I guess I'd like to see just a slight bit more check there, but not bad. I'm gonna hit a different type of shot now. It's gonna give us a little bit more loft. Hold it a touch. Got some decent check there. It wants to come back. It's working back. That's not a bad result there. Let's see how that should be good for distance. There we go. All right, well, I'd say with enough practice, I think I could dial this wedge in pretty darn well. And again, off a nice tight lie, it's generating more spin than a lot of wedges would. And on that one where I kind of bounced the club, it still got down into the grass. That's a good sign, let me tell you, because I could easily scold that one with another wedge. All right, 52 degree wedge here. I love this like antique copper finish it has to it. It's got a really nice patina, and it's not like this has been aging in my garage or anything. It's a pretty new wedge, so that's just how they come out of the factory. All right, I got three balls here. Again, we're gonna test this for distance. I'll be taking a full swing. It should be. Just the perfect distance. Let's find out. Mm, good strike. Tell you what, you get nice height onto these things. Distance-wise, look just, uh, I'd say I hit that about 100. A little shorter than I'd like to be. Let's give it a little bit more oomph. There we go. Pretty good strike there, but yeah, came up short. We're rolling off the front. That's kind of surprising. One more. Definitely went after that one. And a little better result there. That looks pin high. So I had to go after this one just a little harder than I expected. I think the distance can be fair. I don't think it's gonna blow your socks off, but again, these wedges aren't necessarily built for distance. They're built for spin. How about just one more for giggles? Ooh, it looks good. Best one yet, maybe. Ah, man, it sure stopped on a dime. I'm in Florida here, I'm playing in Bermuda. A lot of people struggle in the Bermuda. They can't get their club through. Now having that nice milling on the bottom of these wedges, on the sole of these wedges, really helps get that club under the ball and really promotes some good turf interaction in all conditions, but especially I think in these Bermuda type conditions. Let's see how these wedges do on a very touchy shot here behind the green in the Bermuda. I got a 60 degree wedge, no green to work with. I'm gonna put that ball down a little bit. We don't want too good of lies here. We want to test these things. Oh, I just missed my landing spot, but that's not a bad result. I am struggling a little bit with these wedges, I would say, in really getting consistent in my landing spots. Again, just a little short there, and you can see it kind of kicked and skidded. Still probably a pretty makeable putt, three feet there three and a half maybe, but I know we can do better. There we go, settle. Oh, that stopped nice there. I gave it just a little bit more loft, moved the ball up in my stance, and that worked pretty well. Let's see if we do that one more time. Dunk. <laughs> so final thoughts here on the Smith Works wedges. I definitely enjoyed using these things. They are a beautiful club. I love the finish. The build quality is impeccable. 
those grooves, there's definitely something to those X grooves. They generate some pretty serious spin. Now for me, again, I think I lacked just a little bit of consistency. Some of that was probably me, but some of that was the club. Finding I was getting a little bit more inconsistent results depending where on that face I hit it. But speaking of the face, I love the full face groove and I wish we saw more wedges with a full face groove. It's a really nice feature to have. In terms of distance, I think it was fair. It's not gonna blow your socks off, but again, these wedges aren't really built for distance. They're built for spin. And lastly, turf interaction. I think they were really good at cutting through the turf and not bouncing on you, which is really nice. They kind of slid through. And a couple shots I hit thin there, I didn't scold them like I easily could have. I still had a decent result. Now the price of these wedges is gonna be in line with most of the main manufacturers for wedges. So I think again, what this comes down to is, are you willing to get a little bit more spin, but also sacrifice having a non-conforming club. Again, that's a decision that each and every one of us has to make for ourselves, but I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you learned something. Do hit subscribe and I'll catch you back here soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.